Hey, how's it going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use PyInstaller to package your Python program into a standalone executable program. Before we dive into the tutorial, uh, this is going to be the application we're going to package. Here, let me launch the application first. All right, so this application is basically a GUI application. And on this application, I have a dropdown and a push button to print the country name. And that's it. All right, so here, let me uh, launch my window terminal. And I'm going to activate my virtual environment first. And this is going to be optional. You don't necessarily need to use a virtual environment to package your Python program, but just something nice to have uh, for me to organize my libraries. All right, so here let me activate my environment first. Now if I print my libraries using the command populous, right, so here's our older uh, libraries under my PyQt5 virtual environment. And the first thing we need to do is we need to install uh, PyInstaller. And we can use the command perp install PyInstaller. And now install the package, which is a command line tool. Now if I type PyInstaller, it should print a list of uh, arguments followed by the error message. Now let me open the Python script first. All right, so here's the, the script to create the PyQt application. Now if I run the script, it's going to launch the application. Now one thing I want to point out that in my script, I'm actually using uh, several icons uh, to embed it to the uh, GUI application. And if you look at my uh, file path, I'm actually using an absolute file path, meaning that I'm providing the full file path. And for some reason, every time I try to use relative path, I also run into issues that uh, PyInstaller cannot locate the icon files or any accessory files. So this is going to be the uh, main script uh, to launch the application. Now I want to open the app spec file. All right, so this is going to be the template file that I use every time I need to uh, package my Python program. And the spec file serves kind of like a template to store your uh, configuration settings. And the syntax is actually in uh, Python 3. Yeah, let me set the syntax. And let me grab my notes. All right, so if we look at uh, different settings, so this is going to be uh, the file name or the script name that you're going to use to run the program or to launch the program. And the data's property are used when you want to include any uh, other additional files. And if you look at the elements under the data's property, so for each tuple, what this means is I'm including the files from the uh, flex folder within my project folder. All right, so if I go into the flex folder, what that means is I want to upload uh, all the PNG files to the uh, flex folder. So imagine that this is your uh, destination. Now I'm going to scroll down to uh, the exe class. Under the exe class, uh, the only thing that I usually change is the program name. This is going to be the name of the program when you convert your file. We also have a debug mode. In case if you run into any error, uh, when it comes to converting your Python script into an executable, then you can uh, set the value to two to display the debugging window. And the console property means that when you package your Python program, do you want to uh, display the command line console as well? And since I already have a GUI, so I'm going to set the value to false. And icon is the uh, icon path that you want to use as the program icon. And here I'm using the app icon.ico file as my icon. Now going back to the uh, command line. All right, so to package the file, here let me clear the window. To package the, uh, the script, I'm going to type pyinstaller followed by the spec file name. And the file name is going to be app.spec and enter. Now two folders are going to be created. One is the build folder, which is uh, some of the uh, information related to your uh, application or your program. 
And the other folder is this distribution folder, and which is going to be the standalone executable file. Now let's just wait until the process or the conversion is finished. All right, so it looks like the build is finished. And here's the standalone executable file. I'm going to double click to launch the, the program. All right, so here, let's take a look. So here are my uh, drop down items. And for my items, I have my icons right next to it. Now if I select country and print and double print the country name. Now at this point, uh, this file is going to be considered as a portable file, meaning that you can freely distribute uh, this application to anyone that you like. And they don't even need to install the software. They can simply download the file to their computer and start using it. All right, so this is everything I want to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys on the next video.